So you want to know what it's like to live in Sacramento and I lived in Sacramento for over 30 years and I absolutely love it. So in this video I'm going to share the good, the bad, the ugly, the pros and cons all about living in Sacramento. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Jason Walter with Realty One Group, and I have a ton of other videos about living in Sacramento. So I invite you to subscribe to this channel and also call, text, email me anytime. If you have any questions about Sacramento area and you're thinking about relocating here, I absolutely love it when people reach out to me and I have your back when you're moving to the Sacramento area. And obviously a lot has changed in Sacramento since I moved here over 30 years ago. So I thought if you've never lived here before, or never even visited Sacramento, I thought this would be a good video to make so you can kind of get a sense about what it's like to actually live here. One of the things I love about Sacramento is the great outdoors and I love actually being active. So skiing, mountain biking, cycling, running, uh, there's so many different activities you can do and there's have we have a couple different rivers in Sacramento so we have the American River which you can go uh, kayaking stand up paddle boarding we also have the Sacramento River which is great for wakeboarding in addition to that we have Folsom Lake which actually has really warm water and is awesome for wakeboarding and swimming in the summertime and I absolutely love it. And one of my favorite places to run is in McKinley Park. McKinley Park's in East Sacramento. You run around the whole park, is actually one mile, and they have a great playground there if you have kids. It's an awesome um, park, my favorite park in all of Sacramento. And a side note, if you like mountain bike races, trail running, triathlons, there's a great company out here called Total Body Fitness, and they put on a ton of different races here in the greater Sacramento area, so go check them out at Total Body Fitness. And by the way, the weather here is so conducive to being active outside. We only get about 20 inches of rain uh, per year, and it's not humid here at all. And yes, in the summertime, it can get very hot and over 100 degrees. On average, I think it's about 92 in July and August, uh, so it can get very hot. We actually, my wife and I got married when it was 106 degrees outside, and we had an outdoor wedding, so that was very hot. Um, however, uh, you wake up every day in the summertime, and you have blue skies. So you don't have to wait for the fog to burn off like other areas along the coast, for example. I went to school at UC Santa Cruz and they had to wait for the fog to burn off most mornings in the summertime. So if you're into being um, active outside, a lot of people do that uh, early in the morning uh, in the summertime to avoid the heat of Sacramento. However, if you're coming from the south or the east coast where there's uh, humid weather, you're going to think our, our summers are actually pretty tame. I actually helped them a uh, couple move from Dallas, Texas uh, last year, and they think Sacramento summers are nothing compared to what they have in Texas, for example. On top of that, in Sacramento, we have an average of 265 days per year we have sunny skies. And by the way, if you have kids or you're thinking about having kids, then the area that you move in is actually very important for the schools that your kids will be actually attending. So for example, within the San Juan Unified School District, which is one of the school districts in Sacramento, uh, there's an assigned boundary for each school. So if you have a school in particular that you actually want your kid to attend, let's just say uh, Rio Americano High School, then you have to be uh, living in with the assigned boundaries. However, there is a lottery system with the uh, San Juan Unified School District. So if you want your kids to attend a school outside of your boundary, you're gonna have to apply for the lottery system. Um, but I do hear it's actually pretty challenging to get into the school of your choice, especially if it's ranked really highly, uh, but you do have the opportunity to do that. So however, I would say that if you really want your kid to go to a particular school, really look for houses in that um, assigned area. Um, because you might have a challenge in getting to that school within the lottery system. And you can go on to greatschools.org to look at the different school rankings in the area or go to the school and actually look at their boundaries. And if you do have kids, Sacramento is actually very family friendly. You have lots of young families in the Sacramento area. There's lots of parks like McKinley Park, for example, and then there's some museums as well. So the probably the most uh, popular museum in Sacramento is located in Old Sacramento and that's a Sacramento train museum. My nephew who is five years old absolutely loves that museum. It's a really fun, family friendly uh, museum to go check out. And if you don't have kids, then we do actually have a lot of people who are single moving into Sacramento, as well as a lot of retirees, especially coming from the Bay Area. Another great thing I love about Sacramento is the opportunity to go on day trips um, from the city. So if you like to go uh, wine tasting, for example, there's so many different opportunities for you. So you can go to Clarksburg, which is about 15 minutes south of downtown Sacramento, uh, up along the Sacramento River, really fun place to go check out. In addition to that, we also have the Amador County, which is about 45 minutes southeast of Sacramento. And I would call it kind of like a mini Napa. It's absolutely beautiful there. Tons of trees, windy streets. 
and lots of uh, hills there as well. And wine tastings there around $10 uh, versus a Napa. Wine tasting is around $20. In addition, if you want to go to Napa, Napa is only about an hour and 10 minutes away, so a great place you want to go do a day trip there. Another fun place to go check out is Apple Hill in the fall and winter time. They have everything imaginable for apple uh, drinks and uh, food. Really fun place to go check out, absolutely beautiful there. And that's about a half an hour east of Sacramento. In addition, the foothills is about 20 minutes east of Sacramento, and that's basically where El Dorado Hills is. But go driving around El Dorado Hills, Granite Bay, uh, Loomis, Newcastle, Penryn area is absolutely beautiful. My wife and I love going on uh, little car rides to go check out those areas. And especially in like um, January, February, March time when the grass is very green, lots of flowers growing, absolutely beautiful place to go check out uh, just for a day trip from Sacramento. I wish we were able to walk to the beach uh, from Sacramento. Obviously, we can't do that. I wish the weather was actually more temperate like the coast, uh, but the uh, ocean is only about two to three hours away. You can go, go to Carmel. It's only going to take you about three hours, or you can go to San Francisco. It takes about an hour and a half or two hours. And on a side note, Sacramento is actually known as the river city, the city of trees, as well as America's uh, farm to fork capital. And the soil in Sacramento is actually very fertile. So if you want to grow your own fruits and vegetables outside in your backyard, you really they can do that and actually people who move here or come and visit they're actually really surprised you actually can grow your own vegetables so a lot of people have uh, fruit trees uh, lemon trees oranges for example and you can grow your own herbs in your backyard as well in addition there's a lot of large companies here that are in the ag business uh, so for example there's blue diamond growers which is based here in sacramento and they provide over 80 percent of the world's almond supply which is absolutely phenomenal in addition, Golden One Arena, which is where the Sacramento uh, Kings play, they source about 90% of the food and beverages uh, in that arena um, within a 150 mile radius of Sacramento. And speaking of food, there's so many options here in this greater Sacramento area. About 20 years ago, there was uh, not as many options, but especially within the last 10 years, the food scene uh, and the craft brewery and coffee uh, shop scene has really blown up in the Sacramento area. There is a ton of options, especially in the Midtown, East Sacramento, and downtown area of Sacramento. Whether you like enjoying a craft beer, going to grab a cup of coffee, or having a delicious bite to eat at one of the many restaurants here in the Sacramento area. I hope this video gives you some insight about living in Sacramento. I absolutely love living in Sacramento. So if you have any questions, please comment below or call, text me anytime.